Hello everybody, Mr. Covey here. Uh, today we're going to be talking about complementary and supplementary angles. Uh, I wanted to start with our definitions. So we write our definitions in if-then form. So for complementary, we have if two angles are complementary, then their sum is 90 degrees. And I think some of you might remember that. We can also say their sum is a right angle. And then also remember that all of our definitions are always reversible. So you could also say if two angles sum to 90 degrees, then they are complementary. Uh, supplementary. Similar, except we're talking about sum to 180 degrees. So I'm going to abbreviate this. If two angles are supplementary, then they sum to 180 degrees. We could also say a straight angle. Uh, There's different ways that uh, complementary or supplementary angles may look in a diagram. Uh, so for complementary, the angles can be adjacent, which we'll talk about exactly what that means in a second. But that would look something like this. They can be non-adjacent. Or you'll sometimes see them in a right triangle. Or you have a 90 degree and the other two angles are complementary. With supplementary angles, you'll sometimes see them adjacent, non adjacent, or even sometimes in uh, some type of quadrilateral. So maybe like an isosceles trapezoid, and you'd see them like that. Those two angles, here and here, are supplementary. Just a real quick definition. When we say adjacent angles, we just mean angles that are right next to each other. Uh, they're side by side. They share a side or a ray. They're angles that are right next to each other. Um, and for when we're talking about adjacent angles, those are assumed from our diagram. So you can assume that two angles are adjacent. It appears that they share a ray. Uh, when we talk about the supplement of the angle, we mean the angle that is supplementary to the angle we're talking about. Since supplementary angles add up to 180, uh, if you have some angle as x, the supplement is 180 minus x. So if you had an angle x, the supplement would be 180 minus x. Uh, similarly for a complement, since they add up to 90, if you have an angle x, the complement is 90 minus x. So let's say you had some angle x, then the complement is 90 minus x. And this allows us to solve some algebraic problems. Okay, let's look at a first problem here. So it says the measure of one of two supplementary angles is three times bigger than the other. What are the angles? So there's a few ways to do this. Um, but let's just say we want to call x our angle. Spell that correctly. Uh, then the supplement of our angle is 180 minus x. It's the supplement of that angle. And then we need to set up our equation based on what it says. So the measure of one of the two angles, let's say the measure of x, is, remember is is always equal. So the measure of one of the two supplementary angles is three times bigger than the other. So take the other, which is the supplement, and multiply it by three. So one of the angles is three times bigger than the other. Build that equation that way. Now we have to solve this equation.
and you get that the original angle is 135, meaning the supplement is 180 minus that. So the supplement is 45 degrees. That isn't the only way to set this up. Uh, you could set it up kind of the opposite way. So you could say, you could say one of the angles, but use the 180 minus x is three times the other. And get this equation, if you solve this, you'd figure out the 45 degrees first, do 180 minus that to figure out the 135 degrees. So you'd still get the same two angles. Okay, so this says the measure of the supplement of an angle is 30 less than 4 times the measure of the complement of the angle. Find the measure of the complement. So first of all, reminder, the supplement of an angle is 180 minus the angle. Complement of the angle is 90 minus the angle. So it's saying the measure of the supplement, so 180 minus x, is 30 less than 4 times the measure of the complement. So be careful breaking this down. 4 times the measure of the complement, but 30 less than that. So 30 less than 4 times the measure of the complement is the supplement. And then we just need to solve this equation. So we got 180 minus x, 360 minus 4. Okay. And we end up getting x is 50. Be careful here, please. Uh, the question asks for the measure of the complement. We found the original angle. We still need to find the complement. So we need to do 90 minus our angle. And 40 degrees is the measure of the complement. So please pay attention to what the question is actually asking at the end. Because 40 degrees is our correct answer. 50 is what x is. As you might have guessed, we're going to use complementary and supplementary to help us with proofs as well. So let's just go over a basic one to start. Uh, measure of angle one and measure plus measure of angle two equals 180 degrees. That is given to us. We are concluding that angle one and angle two are supplementary. And our reason is if the sum of two angles is 180, then they are supplementary. So it is our definition of supplementary angles. All right, you guys ready for something a little new here? Um, I know on your sheet it has some lines for number four to look like you're trying to do a two column proof, but I want to show you guys a different kind of proof we can do. It's called a flow chart proof. So we have two column proofs, we have paragraph proofs, and now we're going to show you flowchart proofs. A lot of people like these a lot. They make a lot of intuitive sense. Um, so I'm going to show you how it works. Just like with any proof, uh, you're going to have the same statements and the same reasons. We're just organizing them in a little bit different way. So we're going to start with The measure of angle 1 and the measure of angle 2, sorry, equals 90 degrees. And that information is given to us. Uh, next, we can conclude, and I kind of like to draw a little arrow showing that this is leading to our next statement. Uh, we can conclude angle 1 and angle 2 are complementary. The reason we need to put down here is if the sum of two angles is 90 degrees then they're complementary. Uh, we can abbreviate here a little bit. So let's say two angles 
add to 90, then complementary. Okay, so now we have that angle 1 and angle 2 are complementary. Next, we can conclude that, and again, we'll draw another arrow over to another bubble. We can conclude that angle ABD is a right angle. And again, we need a reason below that. And our reason can be we have two angles that are complementary and they're adjacent. Then they form a right angle. I'm going to slide this all over a little bit so we can fit in our last bubble here. So now we can conclude that AB is perpendicular to BD. Put a bubble around that. And below that, if two rays form a right angle, then they are perpendicular. So let's say two rays form right angle. That means they're perpendicular. So altogether, that's our flowchart proof. You can also do this vertically if you run out of space going horizontally like I did. And it's acceptable to do a little bit of abbreviating in your reasons. They don't necessarily have to be an if-then. You can use this little arrow as your then, for instance. Um, it's just another type of proof we can do. Okay, and then for number five, I'd like you to do this as a flowchart proof. So for tomorrow, come in uh, and prove this using this flowchart proof technique. Uh, and that concludes lesson 2.2. .2.